Upon opening your VetPort X4 box, you will find the main unit generator. Removing the main unit from the box and taking out the packing foam below will reveal the radiation backscatter shield assembly. In the side section, you will find a box containing your charger with its accompanying adapter and a box containing the hand switch for your unit. The hand switch can attach to the side of the generator to distance the user from the X-ray source. Finally, you will find the FFC jig in the bottom of this section. This is used to calibrate the port view sensor to the VetPort X4. Fully charge the unit prior to using it for the first time. When the power cord is plugged into the unit, a red LED display means it's currently charging, and a green LED will display when fully charged. Let's take a closer look at the features of your X-ray generator. On the side of your unit, you will find a flap that contains the port to plug in your hand switch, the charging port, and the micro SD slot. Above this flap is the USB slot to plug in your intraoral sensor for direct X-ray capture or for wireless operation with your computer. On the back of the unit, you will find the display screen. You will also find the trackball, power, size, position, and menu buttons. Please note that many of these buttons can be context sensitive and control different functions within the menus. The other side of the unit contains the battery slot and the front of the unit has the exposure button. Finally, on the underside of the unit is the tripod mount and the USB slot for your wireless dongle. Power on the unit by holding the button for at least three seconds. Once the unit powers on, you'll be brought to the main screen. Starting at the top of the screen, the first icon should be green to indicate a correct tube temperature. The next icon indicates the micro SD card is inserted in the unit. The next icon indicates if the unit is connected to a Wi Fi signal. The next icon indicates battery level. And the final display is the current time. Below this, the size of the animal is shown, and this can be changed by pressing the size button. Below this, the tooth position is shown and can also be changed by pressing the position button. Changing either of these settings will change the default exposure length, but this can also be changed manually by rolling the trackball up or down. Each time the size or position is changed, the exposure time will restore to the default exposure time. Press the menu button to access the unit settings. The first option is the wireless signal. Press in on the trackball and a list of available wireless networks will be displayed. Choose the wireless network you wish to access and input the password by rolling the trackball and pressing in to make a selection. You can cycle through the alphanumeric menus by pressing the position button. Once the password is input, press the power key to continue. A confirmation message will pop up and pressing the position button will confirm the connection. A connected message will appear next to the connected wireless network. The next menu setting is language and system settings after that. Within the system settings, you can format your micro SD card. This will ensure that any new micro SD card is properly formatted to record images from the unit. Be warned, formatting any micro SD card will completely erase any data on the micro SD card. Please ensure that all data you wish to keep is already transferred off of the card. The LISA server setting will allow you to send P4 information to a LISA server. Selecting sleep mode will allow you to set when the unit goes into sleep mode and when the unit powers off due to inactivity. Brightness, the last setting in system, can be adjusted by sliding the trackball left or right. Back to the main settings menu, the time setting allows you to manually or automatically set the time on your unit. The automatic setting will ask you to slide the trackball left and right until you select a major city in your time zone. The INIT settings allow you to return the shot time, wireless connection, or all settings back to initial settings. Finally, the update setting will display the current software version. There are three different configurations between the X-ray generator and the intraoral sensor when it comes to capturing your exposures. The first is accomplished via the intraoral sensor connected to a laptop or desktop PC. 
This will require that the PortView software is already installed and configured onto your computer. For help getting your PortView software installed, please call the number on the screen. With your PortView software properly installed, connect the intraoral sensor to your PC and start the program. You will know the sensor is connected to the program when you see the green dot on the sensor icon. To take exposures, first enter patient data. Once the patient data is entered, you will be brought to the main screen. From here, highlight the numbers of the tooth you wish to capture, and your exposure will appear in the box. You can take multiple exposures in one area, and the yellow numbers in the box will tell you how many total exposures are in that area and what number you are displaying. To set up an automatic exposure trail to capture multiple areas one after the other, click the FMX button at the top of the program. In the small display to the left, click the corresponding boxes you wish to capture in the order you would like them captured. The numbers will display in the order of the captures. To keep this plan, press Save or press Reset to start over. Once your continuous acquisition pattern is set, you can begin taking exposures and the computer will follow the order you have previously set. The second way you can capture exposures is to capture your exposures straight into the generator. This is accomplished by plugging your intraoral sensor directly into the USB port on the X-ray generator. You will need to input patient information before any exposures can be captured. Once this is complete, the patient information will be displayed on the screen. Once the exposure is taken, the image will be displayed on the screen for a short time before returning to the exposure screen. You can view this image by pressing the menu button, then selecting List. This list will display all images stored on the microSD card. To display the exposure, highlight the patient name and press in on the trackball. Press the X-ray button on the front of the unit to exit back to the main screen. Return to the list. From this menu, you can press the power button to modify the patient data, press the size button to delete the image, the position button to send the image to a server, if you are connected wirelessly, or the X-ray button to return to the main screen. If you are not set up wirelessly to a server, the images on the X-ray generator can be transferred to a PC via the microSD card. The final configuration type has your intraoral sensor connected to your X-ray generator and the images sent to your PC via wireless connection. To establish this connection, please contact customer service. For all other service matters, contact customer service using the information on the screen.